you try to control the variety of situations that may pop up in your face tomorrow morning, all that will happen is you will become a very limited life. You would step out into the world and do whatever that needs to be done, only if you have an assurance, no matter what you walk into, you will not lose yourself. You will walk full stride, otherwise you'll only be a half a step. Most human beings are half steps because the fear of suffering, if this happens, what will happen to me? If that happens, what will happen to me? If you're well managed within yourself, you know how to manage your thought, you know how to manage your emotion, you know how to manage your body, your chemistry, your energy. If you know how to manage all this, what does it matter if you walk into hell, I'm asking? If you are well managed, if you are a heaven within you, what does it matter where you go? Hell also will be an interesting place to go. But if you are ill-managed, then you want to be in a nice place all the time. You will not step out into anything. I'm not saying this is wrong. This is against nature because in nature, every life is aspiring to be as much as it can be, isn't it? Every life is naturally aspiring, this is not a philosophy, this is not an ideology that you must do this or that. It is natural and intrinsic for every life that it will do as much as it can. From an earthworm, from a worm to an insect to a bird to an animal to a tree, every one of them are trying to be full-fledged life. If you go against this simply because of the fear of suffering, then all possibilities of exploring the nature of being human, the tremendous immensity of being human is just lost upon humanity. Today, you will see this everywhere when people say, I am only human. They are talking about the limitations of being human. They are not talking about the possibilities of being human, isn't it? When if we are the most intelligent species on the planet, if we are the most capable species on the planet, should we be talking about our possibilities or should we be talking about our limitations? Whenever anybody writes or says, oh, we are human, they are always referring to their limitations, never to the possibilities of being human. This is because the, the most fundamental things have not been taught in our education systems, how to handle your thought and your emotion. Your psychological drama has gone out of control. <laughs> it's a badly directed drama, believe me. If it was a well-directed drama, you would take it to the conclusion that you want, isn't it? Because it's a badly directed drama, just about anybody can take charge of it. Who is the director of your psychological drama? Just about anybody, isn't it? Anybody can make it into a tragedy.